This is the next video in my series on controlling a 12 volt RGB strip with the Raspberry Pi. Here I'll be adding HomeKit support so the strip can be controlled via Siri on an iOS device. If you followed the previous video, you should be ready to get started. If you've not yet seen it, please stop here and watch it. Once again, I'll be making use of the Raspberry Pi configurator script to make the setup process easier. Download and run the most recent version. At the menu, choose Video Projects and then Raspberry Pi HomeKit Controlled RGB LED Strip updated May 2020. The script will update your Raspberry Pi to install PyGPIO and Node.js. Then it will download the project from GitHub and install the required software dependencies for you. Once everything is finished, enter the project folder and type sudo npm start. If you see the same thing on your screen, you are ready to grab your iOS device and set up the RGB LED strip. In the Home app, tap on the plus button and choose Add Accessory. Then tap I don't have a code or cannot scan. You should see the RGB LED strip accessory. If you don't, make sure you and your Raspberry Pi are on the same network. Tap the icon and then tap Add Anyway on the prompt. The setup code should be displayed on your Raspberry Pi. It should be 0000123. 000 Add it to a room and click Next. You should now be able to control the LED strip from inside the home app. You can also use Siri to control it. Turn the RGB LED strip off. OK, the RGB LED strip is off. Turn the RGB LED strip on. OK, the RGB LED strip is on. If you need to, you can delete the accessory by long pressing it, then tap the gear icon in the lower left. Then scroll all the way down to remove accessory. If things get messed up or start acting strangely, you may need to delete the accessory from home and then remove the persist folder from the Raspberry Pi. Well, that's it for this video. There are more Raspberry Pi videos coming soon, including one on how to automatically run this project every time your Raspberry Pi boots up. So please subscribe and keep an eye out for that. If you found this video helpful, share it with others and give it a thumbs up. See you next time.